we got married, we were already trying to have kids. Once we figured out that I had a blocked fallopian tube and him having a low sperm count warned us to have IVF. Mentally wise, I thought I was prepared for IVF, but financially, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually, it has been draining for me. Because of me wanting a baby, I had to have so many injections. And whenever I had the IVF cycles, whenever I had the, it was negative, I would ask, why me? Why can't I get pregnant? Whenever all I want is just one healthy baby. With road work versus weight, a part of me sunk because they are trying to tell women what to do with their own body. I now have talked to my husband, like, do we want to actually go forward with IVF? Even though it has taken my job 14 years to get infertility treatments. But now with this Roe versus Wade, do I want to continue to go through IVF? Or should we just adopt? Because I don't want to be in the position of me having to carry a baby that I know that would not make it outside of the womb. Nor do I want my physician to be charged even if I do have to have that treatment. To go along with what she said, there's a lot of men out there that's ashamed to talk about the issue that they're having with infertility as well. So along with her, there's also someone to talk to and just let your feelings out because we hold it in a lot. And um, I have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, basically meaning I don't ovulate. And 20 years ago, they gave you the pills, the uh, Clomid and stuff, and they didn't really do any monitoring. So we never had any luck. We tried for about 10 years, and then we just kind of gave up and moved on. 15 years in, we got divorced. And then um, I was actually gonna start it on my own, and then we met, and um, we uh, started the process. Uh, what, about six months in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, seven months in, I think. Uh, people understand that Roe versus Wade, the overturning of that is more than killing babies. Or um, ha it's, it's, women should have the right to choose what they do with their bodies. I personally do not like using abortion as a, a birth control method, but I also wouldn't make somebody have a pregnancy that they didn't want. I just feel like there's so much that is unknown, especially being that IVF was created under Roe versus Wade, that, I mean, with embryos, so many states saying that embryos are life. What are we going to do about all the embryos that are frozen? Or how is that going to impact um, future fertility treatments? Because if you can't, if you're being forced to implant embryos that aren't going to be a successful pregnancy or um, have to do ones that you know are going to have genetic abnormalities, I personally wouldn't do that on purpose. Um, so there's a lot of things that are just so unknown that uh, it's, it's, it's hard. Um, I don't think I would go through it with the current political climate we're in. We were pretty sure we were not going to go back. I mean, we still do have our indeterminate uh, embryo, um, but I I would not I would not go through it and not knowing what's going on because at any point they can decide that disposing of an embryo is murder. 